Doris, Doris Jelly. Um, Doris, born in the 1930s, is a satellite data analyst. Um, Doris is the one, she's still with us, she's alive. She was born in Ontario and all of us, the three of us in our team, we had the opportunity to meet Doris and to interview her. Um, so Doris got a, um, a bachelor's in mathematics from Queen's University in 1954. She went on to do um, an MSc. She worked uh, first as a summer student for, in an internship with the National Research Center. She taught in Switzerland. She had a book called Canada 25 Years in Space, a wide range of very interesting and important achievements. But of course there were challenges. And um, during the time that she was um, going to teachers college and she started off you know, teaching science, of course, she said a teacher there said to her, why are you doing this? Why don't you get a nice job as a secretary? <laughs> Doris also never married. Um, she chose not to marry. She said, why would I do that? Because when you marry, you have to leave your job. And she'd have had to give up all this work that she put all that effort into. Um, so Doris, yes, a pioneer in Canada's space industry. Um, Canada's first satellite um, when we joined the space race was Alouette 1. And so she worked on Alouette 1. She worked on a subsequent um, satellite, the Hermes satellite, that um, focused on communication, of course, um, but she was the coordinator of telemedicine at that point. And she did a lot of work again in the ionosphere where these satellites reside. Here is a picture of the Hermes satellite and the importance of communications. I mean, Canada is enormous, a lot of remote areas and the telecommunications are vastly important, but vastly difficult because of how the ionosphere works. And so these satellite analyses were, are really, really important for our communication, um, um, the availability of communication in the far north. In fact, one of the things that really struck Doris and she's spoken to us about is um, when she was in Baker Lake in Nunavut, um, there was a medical emergency with a woman who was in labor. And that, she said, really brought home to me the human cost of not having communication in these isolated areas. <laughs> 